any writer will know, the hardest tense to write in is the semi-present, semi-future tense. <laughs> where you write about what's happening, but in the future. And then predicting what's going to happen in the future, in the present tense. It's possibly the only time in recorded history where all the men were dancing and all the women were at the side going, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> The next song I'm going to show you is by a man called Pat Good, who whose writing isn't. Yeah. Uh, what did we cry to the manager of Ireland, Jack Charlton? Did we cry, come back with the Jules Rimet trophy, or you will be permanently remembered as an Englishman? Yeah. Did we say, you better win this, the nation pins our very hopes and dreams on this, there will be no Celtic Tiger unless we win this trophy? What did we call on Jack Charlton to do? What did we demand of him? Now, Ireland was a different time in the Italian 90. There was three well-known groups of Irish men. There was the 1990 World Cup squad, who were intent on world domination. There was you two, a smaller band of Irish men, who were intent on world domination. And then there was the IRA, a group of Irish men who had smaller aims. They just wanted to dominate a tiny part of Ireland. For my 30th birthday, I had an Italian 90 revisited DJ set. Where, whoa, where would you get a DJ that good, wrong? And I, I made the playlist myself. Uh, okay, now, how do you impress people who can't speak Irish? Speak Irish. Here we go. There's so much room for blessings that we... The one man in the world who needed a quick blessing was Paul John Paul, uh, or as we know him, the original Paul. I genuinely believe Jack Charlton had come into the studio to record these sound bites, and I love the idea of Larry Mullen on one side, clad in denim, and Jack took a song where the first half is built for teenagers that are into cool music, and the chorus is for the mum. Just to go, that's now, if anyone knows anything about soccer, there's a little problem with this metaphor, okay? He's a brilliant defender, we'll give him that, but listen. That's a really bad wall. A wall is usually at least four people. Now we're having a go with it. Right, the Mafia. Brilliant. And Shane McGowan decided to set a new world record, which he'd already set himself, which was most indecipherable words in a row. Under pressure. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>